In a highly contested local Bronx election, Amanda Septimo won the race to represent Assembly District 84, replacing longtime incumbent Carmen Arroyo in the district covering Mont Haven, Hunts Point, and parts of Highbridge. Excited about tonight, excited about the results, um, and really looking forward to going to Albany to represent the South Bronx. Septimo's campaign was not without challenges. Back in May, former Assemblywoman Arroyo was accused of petition fraud, which led to the incumbent's removal off the ballot after 26 years as the popular Democratic nominee. Arroyo recently rejoined Septimo on the ballot in general elections under the proven leader party. Arroyo lost with only 3.9 percent of the votes, while Septimo received 83.4 percent. Uh, we faced a pretty serious challenge from the incumbent assembly member, even now in the November election, who was still on the ballot. Um, and we decided to keep to keep moving forward and make sure that we got it done this November and we finally won. Um, and, you know, I think it's it's really a lesson in perseverance um, and understanding that when you pick big, big fights, you stick to them and you understand that they're worth it and you see it through no matter what. Many constituents expressed that they feel optimistic about Assemblywoman Septimo as they seek to connect with the new progressive candidate. I think honestly that it's good to have uh, new people step in and step up, especially because of a lot of younger voters don't really know or trust the, the older generation at this point. I did vote for Septima, so I really, like, we need younger people in, like, instead of all these old people. It's not. <laughs> well, the thing is this, I, I'm, a, I'm one of those old people, so, and I know how I feel in my body. And this woman is at least 20 years older than me. So it's time, I think we need some new blood. Yeah. I think we need a young Amanda to get up there and fight for the people. A new blood is good. New blood is good. And um, as long as they keep the focus on um, helping the people, the community, and not getting into power and leave us behind. Um, we have an effort to walk every block in the district to make sure we understand the issues on a granular level and that we're connecting the issues on the ground to legislation and policy. Um, and that's something that I certainly plan to continue moving forward. Um, and, I'm, and I'm really here to learn. Every day is an opportunity to learn more about your community and to learn more about how to improve it. Um, and I'm really looking forward to doing a lot more of that over the next few years. Reporting for BronxNet, Sanji Lopez.